Uh, hi, today our topic is uh, Enterprise Resource Planning in Supply Chain Management and SAP. Uh, background of uh, this presentation is that few days ago I made a presentation about introduction to uh, SAP and some of my you know, audience asked me that uh, we also want to know about the ERP because without understanding ERP uh, it is hard to understand the SAP. So I try to uh, make this presentation to uh, tell you what how they are connected and uh, uh, how uh, SAP and ERP are related in supply chain management. So let's see uh, I will be succeeded in my effort or not but still I want your feedback uh, so I can improve uh, uh, on this topic so let's first uh, talk about supply chain management as we all know supply chain management is the management of the flow of goods and services and it also includes all processes that transform uh, raw materials into final products. And it also involves the active streamlining of business supply side activities to maximize customers value and gain a competitive advantage in a uh, marketplace. So this is like basic uh, definition of supply chain management. So let's go from supply chain management to ERP in next slide. Basically ERP in, is a system in supply chain management strategy through which we uh, get or we achieve the objectives of supply chain management which I have uh, explained you in the previous slide. Uh, as we know in the past Supply chain management was a difficult and sometimes cumbersome process for businesses to deal with. As the time progresses, it becomes increasingly important for businesses to adapt their operation to ensure agility. And uh, here comes the ERP system. So uh, it is often achieved with the use of um, ERP system. ERP basically uh, help us to integrate the businesses to achieve operational efficiency by automating the uh, supply chain process. Uh, and it does uh, integrate from sales to human resource practices. Uh, it also streamlines business management by integrating contrasting systems, I mean combining different systems of uh, with our suppliers as well and with our uh, customers and then combining workflows and managing information to achieve operational efficiency and success for the business. Uh, here is a brief history of ERP which uh, started from 1960s and it was like mainframe computer finance and counting was done just like journal ledger, accounts payable, account receivable and financial reporting. Then in 70s we have distributed the computing and we have like uh, standalone applications uh, where we are doing finance and accounting, sale ordering, processing, purchasing and inventory and material planning. Then in 80s uh, it become industry application MRP2 for manufacturers so it was like introduction of material requirement planning and uh, you know integration with the uh, uh, forecast and, I mean, and finance and accounting and sales and uh, order processing and uh, purchasing and inventory. Then in 1990s we have a um, client server uh, that it was like uh, customer uh, you know, uh, supply to customers like us to customers, ERP introduced. So here in 90s, ERP was introduced. So then uh, in 2000, uh, in the millenniums, we started with the internet adopted and, you know, ERP enhanced KPI analytic and, you know, mobile devices came in and then field 
uh, services and other things then after two, 2000 in this century we have like cloud computing so this is the basically where we have like a full cloud ERP full mobility and e-commerce and IOT and introduction to AL artificial you know intelligence and then machine learning and then uh, document management so these are the uh, kind of a brief uh, history of ERP so Uh, this is another uh, slide which shows simply that uh, how does uh, uh, ERP evolve. So it started from material requirement planning, then manufacturer resource planning plus capacity, then uh, MRP2 which is manufacturer resource planning plus cash flow, and then ERP enterprise resource planning plus uh, B, PR and HR and you know logistics services. So what it is also it added also uh, e-commerce then supply chain management that sales for automation then internet integration and then business uh, intelligent uh, intelligence and then customer relationship management and then knowledge management so this is the way ERP has evolved in the uh, <coughs> business okay you can see this is a simplified look uh, at how ERP works so information is updated in one module so uh, which send data to a central shared database which in turn share the appropriate information with other modules so uh, we put the data on one place and then it is like data is distributed uh, or go according to the requirement of each department or each function or each process and also you know uh, our ex access of employees only to that to that level where it is required and after that they do, they cannot um, but they cannot uh, access to that but only the uh, CEO or the you know authorized pe people can see the whole picture so this is the way it works so in uh, 70s a German company uh, developed a software which called the SAP um, to help uh, ERP. So basically, SAP is a software to achieve the all objective, all the processes of uh, enter enterprise resource planning. So then uh, SAP are incorporate the key businesses functioning of an organization. Like we have talked about supply chain management and ERP. So all these things. Uh, like I mentioned before, to integrate them to optimize the our output uh, in supply chain and ERP, this system was developed called SAP. Uh, called SAP. So um, I have another presentation which I already d that I will going to um, have a link in the description. So you can go after watching this, you can watch that too. So you have better idea about SAP. So SAP uh, is one of the largest vendors of ERP software and related enterprise applications. Like I already mentioned, it is like a, a German company. So what SAP enables to run business processing, including accounting, sales, production, human resources, finance, and in, in a, an integrated environment. Basically, SAP create an integrated environment. One show. Uh, that everything is coming like what what was the objective of ERP so SAP software uh, was used in uh, ERP which is SAP is the one of the largest vendors or largest or the most used uh, software in ERP uh, the integration ensures that in uh, this in integration of through SAP ensures uh, that information flow from one uh, component of to go to another uh, component without need for redundant data entry and helps enforce financial process and legal control so instead of you know uh, working in every compartment differently one data can be used for all the departments and sap is mis making this possible it also facilitated the effective use of resources including manpower machines and production 
capacities. Basically, when you have all information, it was easy for the managers to make the decisions about the manpower, about the machine, about production, about everything. For this reason, it's called resource um, enterprise enterprise resource planning because all the resources of the an enterprise are on one page. So this and SAP is helping or using are used to uh, get this objective. Like any every or any you know software uh, you know every software has some plus point and some some of them are not you know negative points. So what SAP is doing is, is, is doing standardization of the processes, it's integrating uh, with the other third party systems and perform enterprise wide services and it is it has the flexibility to create a custom rules with the, the SAP structure that set the parameter for transactions and it also uh, have a various analytical features such as reporting and decision making that enables SAP to meet the needs of various complex businesses and government organizations. So these are the some of the advantages of um, SAP ERP system. <coughs> Uh, you know, uh, it is. They have some uh, advantages. As we know, the more comprehensive system has has a complexity and cost uh, to pay. Because uh, as the advantages or the benefit of any system or software is increasing, its cost is its cost is also increasing. So the high cost of purchasing and implementing the program, including the buying the software, hardware, labor cost of internal IT employees and external consent, uh, consultant. This uh, training is high cost and then first is the uh, software, then is the implementation and then maintenance and then the training. So cost of training implies and the residual cost of for software maintenance and periodic upgrades are also very costly. And then last is the it's complexity like I explained of the system mean more company uh, most companies will only implement one feature uh, of the SAP ERP software at a time causing uh, the complete implementation of software to take up to several years so it is a lengthy process to have a comprehensive uh, 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 SAP system implementation in the organization so this was like a brief um, presentation please let me know if you have any questions uh, as I said this is uh, related to the my other presentation which is about the introduction to SAP so I will recommend you that you watch both together thank you for your time